This is a couch that I'm painting over. I picked this up at Habitat for Humanity. And it's gonna be the settee with my, that goes with my dining room table. So I have to mix paints to make it match. I set the um, feet on these beams because the couch is a little short for a dining room table. I'm gonna paint all of that white on the bottom. And then the couch is gonna be gray. I let my kids kind of destroy it for the past few months, but now it's gonna be gray and it's gonna match our chairs. And I'll just show you those really quick. So here's the gray that I'm trying to match. And if you would like to see how I transform the chair to this, the link to that video is in the description box. The combination of this paint is an experiment. I'm using this leftover chalk paint, um, it's linen white, and then I just purchased this gray paint in um, the color Elephant from Walmart. The best way to paint furniture is to use chalk paint. So I mixed it here. This is again trial and error. So I added a little bit of water to this because you're supposed to wet down the fabric before you paint it, but I figured if I just add the water to the paint, that would do the job the same way, and it did save an extra step. So I'm just adding the paint on now. And this was my first time painting furniture that I was gonna sit on. I previously painted the back of two of chairs that I updated. I reupholstered the front and painted the back. Um, this paint is like dyeing the fabric. Literally, it doesn't come off on any of your clothing. Um, it, it functions as if the couch was made this way. So again, I'm just going all over, painting it with this one coat, and I was hoping that it went, that the coverage was gonna cover everything because I didn't have any other paint to use and I wouldn't be able to recreate this color combination because I was literally using leftover paint and I had no idea what the quantity was. So here it is all done. And then here I'm showing I sanded down that side on the left and now I'm going back and sanding over the rest of it. This is just to remove any paint that may have just settled on the top that didn't actually soak into the fabric. So this is how it looked after the sanding and now I'm just going to go over it with this wax and this will seal everything. This part is undone and this part is done. When it dries it does dry clear. This is how the couch looks all done. And the cushion is the same color as um, this part here. I didn't do anything to it, as you can see. Um, what I do is just cover it with this gray fitted sheet to match because it goes under the table pretty much. You can't really see it. And because my two little ones sit here for the most part to eat. So um, this can easily be taken off and washed. The cover for the cushion can also be washed, but instead of worrying about changing the color of that, um, I did do this. If you wanted to do a project like this, you could definitely get a fabric to match your um, paint color, and then you can make a covering for this that will fit it perfectly. But I find that the fitted sheet works just fine. with the sheet and there are the beams painted white and because this is used with the dining room table as a settee it's nice that these beams of wood are here because the couch actually slides very easily on those so I add a couple of throw pillows just to give it a little bit of decor And then I didn't show me painting the back, but I did paint the back of it. I just used the, the plain gray just to cover it. So this is the gray that I mixed and this is the gray just by itself. So the whole back is done.
And if you would like to see the transformation of this dining room table, the video will be linked above here as well as in the description box. And again, the video of the chairs will be linked as well.